Some of the heat cooling off in the direction of Prime Minister Rajoy in recent hours. That's right, Mark. The tone, as you know, this morning, a lot of pressure of Rajoy after that double whammy. The vote did happen, a lot of violence, so he really wanted to contain this, and it became a global story. However, we've had developments over the past hour that really changed things a lot. The EU put out this communique saying, well, violence is never the right answer. We trust that Rajoy will find a peaceful solution to this. Again, the French government, a key ally to Spain, saying, again, you know, we trust that Rajoy will manage to find an agreement a peaceful solution to this. So a lot of heat coming off uh, on, on Rajoy, you know, he was under a lot of pressure this morning. We're getting a sense that a lot has cooled and he's meeting his rivals right now in Moncloa, back in Madrid, again, to get a sense of whether they can kind of establish a common front when it comes to Catalonia. Maria, what is the Catalan president telling Catalonians today? Again, that's a crucial point, and it's a great uh, question you're bringing up because he just held a press conference, and he did say that you know if you were expecting an imminent declaration of uh, unilateral declaration of independence within 48 hours, as they had pledged, if the yes vote won, maybe it's time to take a step back and not take it for granted. He was very vague on dates. He was also very vague on how it would take place. He would not commit to it. Again, he did insist that they think the vote is valid, the result is valid, but as to how to implement it, he was incredibly vague. We just didn't get a sense of how the sequence of events is going to take place from here. So again, also a crucial point, they were very disappointed by the fact that the European Union said, well, we're treating this again as an internal affair within Spain, because they hoped to get an intervention from the European Union, and they didn't get that. Could Article 155 of Spain's 1978 constitution be triggered, Maria? Again, Mark, you know that as the nuclear option. It's never meant to, uh, to, to put it to, in a, to a global context so that our viewers can get it. It's like Article 50 of you know, Brexit. It was never really meant to be triggered. And could it happen? Well, it could happen if we do get a unilateral declaration of independence. Again, I don't want to anticipate what could happen because there's serious legal matters. But if we get an indication that Pitch the Month, the regional president might be heading in that direction, then yeah, that's an option that could happen. Or the justice, the courts, would have to say this person has to be dismissed from office because, again, it's a clear violation of the Constitution.